We are here with Aria, who makes a band that lets you control your smartwatch with simple hand gestures. So let's just jump right into a demo. So now I'm wearing Aria, that is a device that goes on the smartwatch and it's able to recognize finger gestures. And with this finger gesture, you then control uh, your smartwatch. So you scroll through the menu. Then once you find the application you want to, for example, here, play music, just stop and get to application. If I want to go back, I just go back to application. And the device is basically this module that goes right here. And from here, here, there's a layer of sensor that are able to recognize the finger gesture from the movement of the tendons on the wrist. And then control the devices. Unlike the rest of us who only get to, you know, kind of see your demo day or this video, uh, yep. you've actually been living with this thing since yep. you guys have been working on it. So when do you find controlling your smartwatch with gestures instead of, you know, like a quick flick or yep. tap to be more convenient? Yeah. So every time I'm using the hand for something else. So from brushing the teeth to just drinking a coffee to really, really many situations. I can totally see that because, you know, I've been living with the Apple Watch for a while now yeah. and I found that I'll have, you know, one hand busy and can't actually react to a notification. Exactly. So I'll be like, and with dismiss nose. Exactly. notification with my nose. <laughs> exactly. And it actually works surprisingly well, but I can see how just being able to use the same hand that has the totally, watch yeah. on to control is nice. Yeah. Was it tricky to memorize particular gestures yes. for different actions? So we try to keep the gesture as simple as possible. We're using, we can go up to 20 different gestures, but it's too complex. Uh, for our user experience. So we are using just five gestures, up, down, left, right, and enter. And flick down, it's down, flick up, it's up, tap, it's enter. Then we can flick with the middle finger, and uh, flick up and flick down with the middle finger. It's pretty easy and uh, the user experience is uh, way better than taking the other hand from the pocket and using the hand on the, on the smartwatch. Okay, so, I mean, which particular apps though? I mean, when are you regularly like, oh yeah, I need to go look at my smartwatch and yes. do something that yes. takes longer than, say, a yes. tap or a swipe? For, for example, from receiving a call or rejecting a call usually, okay. and to check the notifications, or if you want to take, now we're using a lot with a GoPro, so if you want to take uh, a picture and placing the, the GoPro somewhere, you just, with a click, of, with the top of the finger, you can take a photo with it. Where is this going to be available first? I mean, yes. I know that you've been demonstrating with Android Wear devices. Is there, is yes. there a particular one you might go with or someone else? Where is this going to pop up? We're now, we've now developed the module that has a Bluetooth connection that works with all the Android Wear okay. uh, devices and uh, uh, it has an HID profile, so it basically can work with all the devices that have a Bluetooth uh, connection. Moreover, we're making a strap uh, for the new Pebble, so we will take advantage of the uh, port connection in the Pebble time to make uh, this sensor working on the device. Uh, how much is that going to cost? So we're making the strap uh, without the Bluetooth connection that will cost about around $69 and the module itself for, with a Bluetooth connection and the battery for uh, it will be a developer kit uh, for $169 on Kickstarter. If you're a developer with SDK you can actually uh, implement the gestures inside your applications. So from video games to uh, many other applications that can be uh, controlled with five buttons, there will be five gestures. Okay, cool. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much, Kaido.